we started a new month and the new month is June. So what's going on with the housing market in the month of June? Okay, so what to expect if you buy or sell a home this month, right? Okay, and we're like, oh, man, maybe I should wait or not, or what am I gonna do? But June is actually a busy month in the housing market because a lot of people buy and sell this time of year. So if you've got to move and that's something on your mind and you're looking to make it happen, I'm gonna tell you a little bit what you need to know if you're buying this June. I'm gonna talk about if you're buying this June and if you're selling this June, what are the things to consider and think about, you know, especially in, yeah, this month. It's like, okay, what's gonna happen, people? So in this case, a lot of home buyers with children are, you know, they're finishing school. They just finished school. Depends what part of the country you are in, you know, like to move after one school year ends and before the next one begins. So that means June and July. Some of them are August because it depends when they start school. But that's one of the reasons why late spring into summer is very popular time for homes to change hands. And whether that's a motivator for you or not, it's important to realize more buyers are going to be looking right now. And that means you'll be want to be, you'll be want, oh my gosh, you'll want to be ready for a bit of more competition. So, but there is a silver lining to a move this time of year. This is this is also when more sellers will list. So you should have more options, you know, and that's really important. And this is something that an article from Bankrate says, late spring and early summer are the busiest and most competitive time of the year for the real estate market. There's usually more inventory listed for sale than other times of the year. And yes, because I mean, when we're talking about listing a house before summer, and late spring, it's like, hmm, we actually need to either sell or make a move now. So, but this is a double-edged sword for, buy, for a buyer, as you will be met with more opportunities, but much more competition during this busy season. So it's extra important to work with a trusted real estate agent like me. Your agent will help you stay on top of the latest listings share expertise on how to make a strong offer in a competitive market, and we're talking about buying here, and give you insight into things like what the home is actually worth so you can make an informed decision when you buy. And this is a little bit of a, a tip that, um, as Forbes says, approaching the market confidently, armed with good information and grounded expectations will take you far. Now, don't let the hustle of the market convince you to buy something that is not in your budget or not right for your lifestyle. So now when, when this is saying like, hey, you know what, make sure that, oh my gosh, you know what, I want to buy this one, but make sure that you talk to your lender because it's really, really important to talk to a lender on what you feel comfortable with payments. If you don't feel comfortable with the payments, it's a no-go. That price point, it is not for you at all. I would say, let's keep on looking. Let's find something that's gonna be actual in your actual payment, budget, and price point. Now, if you're selling this June, there's two parts of this. So if you're selling this June because there are more buyers this time of year, you're in a great spot as a seller because, I mean, you're gonna get multiple offers. You're probably gonna get more attention, you know, at more showings. But keep in mind, this is something to consider. You need to make sure that your house is on spot. Now, many of those buyers are highly motivated to make their move happen before the next school year kicks off. So they'll likely put in strong, stronger offers to try to make it possible. That means if your house shows well and is listed at the market value, you can see your house sell faster for a higher price. Okay. So now, according to the National Association of Realtors, warmer weather and the end of the school year encourage more people to buy and sell respectively. Buyers are looking to move and settle before the new school year begins, right? Now, this is contributing to increased competition and consequently higher prices. Yes, people, you want to be sure you've got a great agent on your side like me 
to help you with the contingencies on those offers and any negotiations that take place so you can pick the best offer. Now, make sure you go over closing dates with your agent. Buy it. Buyers trying to time their move with the school year may need to delay a bit or move faster. This can depend on the school calendar where you live. So this is why I told you guys at the beginning, it depends on where you live, where you're at. And so as U.S. News Real Estate explains, if your house goes under contract in early summer, the buyer may ask for a delay closing in. Yeah, they might delay, delay in closing or move in until the school year finishes or their current home is sold. That's why there is always, when you look at a contract, there's contingency upon the sale of the home or there's no contingency. But sometimes when you accept a contingency upon the sale of the home, that means that the buyer needs to sell their home. So alternately, alternatively, a buyer later in summer may be looking to close quickly and move in under a month. So that's another thing. So if we're looking at right now, I have a buyer that needs to move June 1st, right? As they need to move June 1st, we need to close in maybe 21 days. Can we make that happen? Yes. Or maybe that would be a little bit, um, a little bit faster. It depends, right? So there's a lot of things that you would need to consider to make this happen. Now, remain flexible to keep the deal running smoothly and your buyer may be willing to throw in concessions like covering some of your closing costs or overlooking the old roof. Now, if you're looking to make a move this June, I'm telling you there's a lot of things to take into consideration to think about and keep this in mind. Come up with a plan that factors in current market conditions but still works for you. So let me know if you guys have any questions, any concerns. Um, this is Cindy Pascrace with Cindy's Realty Group. I am licensed in the state of Georgia. I'm also licensed in Puerto Rico. But if you need an agent anywhere else, let me know because I will actually hook you up. Again, comment below and let me know. Have a beautiful day, people.